Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Bruce from Radical X Games, bringing you a new game called Silver Creek Falls Chapter 3. Alright, we are finally back on Silver Creek Falls. This game's been out for quite some time now. I just, it took me a while to actually get back to it. And I'm very excited to be back on it because I really enjoyed Silver Creek Falls Chapters 1 and 2. If you have not seen those videos, I will be putting a new playlist up today so that you can see all the Silver Creek Falls videos. And let me take a quick swig of this. Oh, what up my nose? Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Okay. Hello, and welcome back to Silver Creek Falls. The controls are the same as before. We'd like to kindly remind you that there are puzzles that combine logic, memory, and knowledge. Frequent saves and use, and use of pen and paper to take notes about details is recommended. <laughs> oh, shit. Two weeks before the incident at Silver Creek Falls, Munich, Bavaria, Germany. Objective: Find the police station and speak to police. Police. Oh my God! Police Ober Ber Halzel. Oh my God! I butchered the. I butchered that. Don't even know what I just said. I believe it's police station. I need to get to the, I need to get to the, I need I need to go to the police station. This is an apartment building. Okay. So we're gonna see how well my accents go in this video. Uh, uh, uh. Well, come on then, buddy. Find the freaking police station. Oh, there's the sprint. Ah, there we go. No. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's an officer. Hello, is word green gun meet a police bear or hazard the spreading. Oh wait, isn't this? It's a guy. It. I can't remember his name. Oh, Inspector Walsh Walshingham. Am I correct? Ah, oh, you speak. Ah, oh, ah, oh, you speak English. Wonderful. Sorry. <laughs> Was my awful German so obvious? A little bit. But it's fine. German is a very odd. I'm just Russian. <laughs> I'm trying to think. A German accent. It is, but it's fine. German is a very hard language, so we appreciate it when people try to speak it. Police about it has this one. He was meeting you this morning. I think I think he should be ready to to see you now. I'm so sorry if my accent's off. I really am. Wonderful. Dunkashom. Dunkashom. I knew that word, that's thank you. See, I do actually know some German. Oh, how are you, old friend? The gold stars suit you. Mark! Welcome in! Have you had breakfast yet? Yes, I had Schroeder with some hot chocolate earlier. So, is your team ready? Have you gone you're through your, the drills I instructed? Yes! We've run, we've run them quite a few times. I must say, Mark, it sure feels great being back in action. I would be good to be to work side by side again. Ooh, about that. I'll be here to help drill and brief your team, but unfortunately, I have to fly back to the U.S. next week and finalize some business. So, is this it? Yep, yeah, the big fish. I leave this in your care. Don't worry, I won't fail you, old friend. I know you won't. Present day, okay. Known location, Bertie County, North Carolina. You can park your car overnight here, son. I know you're the owner of this convenience store. Okay then. Can't we all can't we go to the go to a hotel? I know this fantastic hotel not too far away from here. They have ears everywhere. We'll talk up in my cabin. Let's go. Can we just, can we at least talk about what just happened? You rushed us straight to the car and had us drive here way over the speed limit. Theory, theory, uh, theoretically, we should be, we should have stayed with the bodies and called them reinforcements. There was no time. Besides, more men were coming and I would have, and I would have had to fight them all off. Let's go to my cabin. We'll talk more there. It's be just beyond this path you've seen. Follow the leader. Look at this. This is follow the leader fun. Oh, jeez. Whoops. Too bad the leader's kind of dumb. 
Good job, leader. Good job. Oh, whoops. Leader don't- okay. My cabin is just up there and to the left. We need some firewood and some food for the night. You guys tired? A bit, but it's okay. What do you need? Take that little path to the right. Keep following it. You should see a little orchard I've set up. Please pick up some fruit and some firewood. No problem. So we're going to the right. Which... That looks like I'm pointing to the left. <laughs> Mirror effect! Oh. So are we gonna talk about what just happened? I'm still in a bit of shock, to be honest. Thank God that Lee Davis was there to save us. But how did he know we'd be there? Let's not forget that he didn't he did leave clues behind the other for other cops to find out what he knew. It's not impossible to assume that he'd be tracking us too. Do you think we can trust him? Yeah. He could have killed us right after killing those guys in hazmat suits, but he didn't. Clearly he wants us to work wants to work with us so, to solve the case. I guess, but we really should have stayed at the crime scene and waited for reinforcements. Shall they call the Birdie County police? Please don't. This time we're he you're here with the FBI instead of instead of by invitation from local police. So you should so we should be keep it in FBI hands. I'll give my unit ch unit chief unit chief a call when we get to the orchard. I'm still getting used to the teeth. Weird. Sounds good. Just really trying to get used to the teeth. It's really weird. I, I didn't notice how like how diff how, how much it would affect my speech, but it really has. It's affected my speech quite a bit. Like, oh, it's weird. It really is weird, especially like, eating. It affected eating a lot. But that's 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 for another time. I will not bore you with details upon that right now. I'm gonna call my unit chief now. Have a rest for a while if you like. I'll pick some fruit with you when I'm done talking. It's okay. I'm not too tired anyway, so I'll pick some now. I'll be back when I've picked enough. Cool. Thanks a lot. Okay, so we gotta go to trees. Apple added to inventory. Hooray! I love the apple. Apple added to inventory. Oh my. Apple added to inventory. Do I have to pick off of every tree? I hope not. Because that would just... That would kill me. That would kill me a little on the inside. Oh, no. No, no. Not a little. No, I would... I think this is enough. Oh, okay, thank God. So, what did your unit, unit chief say? He told me to stick with Lee Davis for now, he, as he is a person of interest. They're sending a team over to, to that secret lab to investigate. That looked really bad, just like the rooms in the soror sorority. You really think it was a human experimentation? Yes. Well, we'll know after the FBI team gets there. I already sent my chief the photos from inside, so he, he has an idea of the t what type of crew he sent to send. Besides, I have a feeling this case isn't so simple. We should talk to Lee and see what he knows. He's been following this case from the shadows for a while. Surely he knows something we don't. Well, guess what? He knows that the police are in on it. Just saying. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on in this, like, I'm sure the police know about it. Like, this is some, like, undercover, whooshy-woo thing going down. Like, it, not everything is as it seems. Like, I, I, like FBI are in on it, I, I, I don't know, this is some, and it's also got some, like, international affairs going on here, too, because we got... We have the the English guy. I can't remember his name. I wish I remembered his name. I know I'm Sarah. Like, it's Sarah. It's Sarah, like, Sarah something. I can't remember. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but it is Sarah. I, I'm playing as a character named Sarah. I cannot remember this guy's name. I remember Lee Davis very well. I think we should do as Lee Davis says and collect apples and firewood. What? I collected the freaking apples. Uh, thank you a very a much. -a? Where's the firewood? Oh, he said something about the firewood, and I can't remember what it was now. Oh, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. 
Oh, please tell me I didn't, like, tell me I didn't mess this all up. I probably messed this all up. I probably have to go all the way back. Oh, come on. Don't. Uh, come. Let me guess the brown trees are firewood. No? Apple added to inventory. Are you freaking kidding me? Apple added to inventory. Yeah, only the green ones have apples. Okay. Apple. Been here already. Well, that's good. Apple. Oh, that's jolly. That's freaking jolly. I'm so happy. So happy I get that. Apple pick. So much apple picking. I don't think Lee will like any of these. Been here already. What? Apple added. Her frickin' Ray. I'm so glad. Now where do I get firewood? What the twibble? What the twibble dee? What the twibble a whatever? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, that's not gonna work. I gotta find firewood. Oh, firewood. Okay, there we go. That was easy. I knew that. Firewood. Yeah. Woo. So great. I love when I have to pick firewood and apples and crap that I'm not gonna need later. I think we have enough firewood and apples. Let's head back. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, so I did. I totally effed up on that. That was my bad. I'm so sorry about that. Sorry, I ran into that tree as well. Go, oh, Sarah and FBI guy. Boom. All right. My d okay, I am doing that. Okay. I like your collection of shotgun. Welcome to my cabin. Did you get the fruit and firewood? Yes. Here it is. Thanks. So can we talk about what just happened? Everyone in Silver S Creek Falls thinks you are either dead or, aba or you abandoned them. I feared this, but they don't understand. Understand what? I had no choice. Here, make yourselves comfortable. It's a long story. Go on. After I finished at the scene of the car crash, I decided to look over the bloodbath at the sorority house again. It was, all, it was, after all, the scene that contained the most evidence. Something that I, about it bothered me. I bothered, and I knew something about it was so, so off. It was full of, it, the ho it was a house full of blood. Nothing about it was right. I mean the fact that there were no signs of forced entry, that so much achieved so much carnage with no resistance in entering the house. It's bizarre. It's true. Normally you'd think after the first murder at least one of the other girls would have heard something and locked themselves in the room and, or tried to escape or fight the per perpetrator. Perpetrator. P -p 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 exactly. Furthermore, it was their neighbors that reported that they had heard singing and chanting. So they were all in the same room. Isn't it strange that they didn't hear screams if they had been assaulted? Yeah. So I went there to investigate again. As I walked through the, to the bedrooms, I heard a faint scratching in the room most to the right. I walked to the room, and as I entered, the room I caught a brief look at. What was it? Well, don't cut him off! It's mighty hard to describe. It was the size of a full-grown man, but had a smooth coat like a beaver or, or an otter. But the hair was whitish-gray. What? Oh, whoops, wrong guy. I only caught a brief look as it then lunged at me and attacked me. It knocked me to the, it knocked me down to the floor and began trying to pin me down. Fortunately, I was able to push it off, then punch it in the chest. Ooh, yeah, like a badass Lee Davis for badass of 2016. Hell yeah! As I stood up, it lunged at me again, but 
I was able to land a hook on its face and I knocked it back two or three feet. Oh, like a badass! It then scurried away into one of the giant holes in the ground. Because you're a badass! My god. So those do lead somewhere? So what did you do after? I realized that whatever I had just fought was not normal. I had already felt a presence tailing me for a while, so I then knew I was truly not safe. I then packed up my stuff, left the note and cassettes for someone to find and re redeployed to my secret cabin. You abandoned your town. You coward. Why did you do it? Really? Really? Are we questioning him here? His life was in danger. I would... I, I, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I'm not talking for her. She's talking... You're not talking for me. <laughs> Sir, calm down and let the man speak. Let's not forget, he just saved our lives. Oh, he could have abandoned you there. Military strategy. When you do not know your enemy, it is best redeployed to buy some buy time to, so one can analyze the situation. I knew that if I typed my report telling it was it, as it happened, and re then requested reinforcements, no one in rally would even would have believed me. So I did what I had to. I disappeared. Why didn't you tell Deputy Hill? Oh, that's a good point. Well, that, that is he. I'm not even going to read it right now because I'm just going to give my opinion on this. Because if he told Deputy Hill, there's a good chance that he would... That actually, whatever it is hunting him could go after him for information. So, Simple. I expected the boy to inform his superiors in rally that I had gone missing so they would assign a new sheriff. Oh, okay, maybe I was wrong. Of course he just faked your signature and got Inspector Moore and I on the case instead. And later the FBI too. It all went even better when I expected. Theoretically. What do you mean by theor theoret uh, theoret theoretically? Our strategy was to investigate from the shadows. It's a lot easier to keep your eyes on things like this when you don't have to appear to the public eye. Furthermore, I expected the pressure from the FBI to show cracks in the case and finally reveal who was behind it, all this. But then the FBI pulled out in the case and only left Agent West and myself. Someone with some power pulled people away from this investigation. That's so suspicious. So how is it that you were in the exact right place to save Agent Valdez and myself? Valdez! That's his name! <laughs> I remember now because they told me. I had exactly been tailing you two after Agent West was murdered. Which is why I also left you those convenient clues so you could follow and find out what I knew and perhaps use this your status. Agent Valdez, as an FBI agent, to use to then be able to go deeper into the case. I see. So when we discovered the secret lab, why didn't you reveal yourself to us so you could go inside as well? Just as you two reached the park and entered the lab, I saw a group of armed men approaching. I knew they meant to eliminate you two as I killed them and hid their bodies. After that, I stood guard close to the secret lab in case they sent more men. Wow. <laughs> Which they did at the end. Thanks for that. Just doing my duty, son. So what did you see inside? Here, let me show you the photos I took. Is it okay if I go and lie down for a while? We were up all night in, in that secret lab. Certainly. Go ahead and use my bedroom. I just put in fresh sheets. Ooh. That's nice. That's super duper nice of you. Oh, yeah, there's no doors or anything, just... Okay, cool. What? Wait a minute. Why? Whoa, what am I doing here? What are you? Welcome, traveler. Where am I? This place is known as Espera. The home of Espers. Espera? You are a seeker of truth, no? Go forth, and hear the chants of the espers. Whoa, okay. What kind of wacky-dacky cult thing did I just run into? Touch Esper? Yes? Everyone in the sorority died because of me. It's all my fault. I could never let this go. They will never forgive me. Esper jump collected. What? 
I was the first in my family to go to college. They were all so proud of me when I got accepted. Now what? What kind of one-way ticket to fucked up did we get? Rebecca, where are you? What happened to us? Oh hey, there's a weird person again. Colonel, can you hear me? Did I do my duty? I hope so. It's like a one-way ticket to fucked up bill, man. What is this? I worked so hard, took two jobs to pay the bills. I could have been a doctor. I should have been a doctor. This place and the espers. You're so sad. Who are you? Who am I is not important. Have I died? Are you an angel? Angel? It's funny. I haven't heard that term for so long. Some would call me an angel. Others would call me a demon. I also go by the title of the interloper, the guardian of espers, a patron of truth. Call me Alpheus for now. I know you humans enjoy calling each other by first names. Humans? She said demon. I'm inclined to believe it's a demon. Brother, I'm so sorry. I should have listened. Now my blood mixes with the hot sand. Soit sponte. That's French. Why? I only re remember going to, like, states in America. I didn't ask for this. I thought rural policemen didn't die. This job was supposed to be easy. I was such a fool. All I wanted to do was to protect my country. I worked so hard and followed all the rules. They say the greatest honor for those, like me, is to die in the line of duty. Was it all worth it? What the fuck is this? I hope we will be fine, will be fine now that I'm gone. I hope they don't come after me, or come after her. I miss her so much. I wish I could see her beautiful smile one last time. Oh my god. What the hell? The espers. Are they the souls of those killed? Souls? Yes. I believe that is what you humans call it. The espers represent the voices of those who left too early. Those whose time was cut short by injustice. Their few voices muted. The espers represent their dreams, desires, and regrets. Their love, their soul. I tend to them here in my garden, but it is, but it must be a seeker like you who must find their truth, so they can reach fruition and be at peace. You have spent enough time here, seeker. It is time for you to return. Farewell, seeker. Wait, I have so many questions. I know you do. That is why I made you their seeker. Wait, what? The sun is rising. I must go, Seeker. What? Will I ever see you again? Yes, in time. Farewell. The next day. Okay. So, okay. I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. Thank you for watching this episode of Silver Creek Falls Chapter 3. If you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button down below. And in the comments, tell me what you think of the... of um. Oh, wow, they just told me their name. The Demon, the Angel, Aspheris. I think that was right. I hope that was right. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching this episode. And, like always, until next time, stay radical, my radicals. See you.